Movie story recaps here. The movie starts with a scene in the future where we can see that the environment of our Earth was not good at all. Humans were not able to live in that environment anymore. Here a lot of people had already left the planet Earth and had gone to some other planet for a living or the other people had died. Then we can see a spaceship coming towards Earth. In this spaceship, some of the last people were going to leave Earth. These were scientists who were living on Earth so they could improve the condition of the Earth and find a way to make human life again possible on Earth. But when they couldn't do anything, they also decided to leave Earth. Then we can see a great scientist named Augustine. He didn't want to leave Earth. He wanted to spend his last time here. He was a patient with cancer and knew that he had only some time left so he refuses to go to another planet. Here we also get to know that Augustine was the owner of a well-known company so he was financially fully stable. Living on Earth alone was not hard for him, he was also treating his cancer disease by himself. Now every other scientist had left the Earth and it was only Augustine who was living on Earth alone. During this, Augustine's past life is also shown when he was young. When he was young he was a very capable scientist. At the time he had also found a planet where people could live. He had worked very hard on this and finally, he had found the planet. He was telling people in a seminar how people could go to another planet and live there as well. During this seminar, he also meets a girl with whom he fell in love at the first sight. After some time, they both also got married. But Augustine's wife was very depressed because Augustine didn't use to give anything else time instead of his work, not even his wife. Slowly distance started to grow between them and his wife decided to leave him. After that, she divorces him and leaves. Then again we can see a scene from the future where Augustine had gotten a notification on his computer that a spaceship wanted to contact him. Then we can see that spaceship P and here we get to know that this spaceship was also sent by Augustine's company. Their mission was to go to another planet and check all of the conditions there. It had been six years since they had sent the spaceship and now the spaceship had again prepared to go back to the Earth. The people in the spaceship were in the spaceship for a very long time and they also were not aware of the Earth condition right now, nor they knew that none was on Earth except Augustine. Now it was only Augustine who could help them but he wasn't able to do this because of his disease, he was unable to remember them. But after focusing he remembers them and that his company had sent them, and now he had to help them. Then the scene shifts to the spaceship where we can see group members who were inside the spaceship. There was a girl there and her commander and some more people. They were trying to connect to the Earth for a long time and now they were in contact with Augustine. Now Augustine was waiting to text them as he could only do this after 11 hours but suddenly his kitchen catches fire. He discovers a little girl when he goes to extinguish the fire. Augustine was very shocked to see her and wanted to know how she came there so he tries to talk to her and when he talks to her he discovers that she was dumb. But still, he was trying to get to know how she got there. That little girl was trying to tell Augustine something through her drawing. After seeing her drawing, Augustine gets to know that her name was Iris. But suddenly he remembers that 11 hours have passed and now he has to connect the people in the spaceship. After trying to talk to the people he gets to know that there was some kind of problem with the signals which is why he was unable to be in contact with them so he goes outside to fix his net signals but it was of no use. He was thinking what could happen now, he had also great understanding with the little girl now. While he was treating himself, he sees a planet to which he could connect. He thinks that if he could get in contact with that planet he can further contact other planets. He decides to leave from there and also takes that little girl with him. He had no idea when he was going to come back so he was taking that little girl with him. He takes oxygen masks and some warm clothes with him. Agustin gets tired only after covering a little of his journey so he starts to rest but then suddenly the ice below him cracks and they start to drown. But he rescues himself and the little girl. All of their things had been drowned too so he decides that now they will cover the leftover journey. But he could could not walk fastly because he was not well. Both of them get very tired while walking. A snowstorm was also starting so it was very hard even to see around because it was snowing everywhere. During the storm, the girl's hand was separated from Augustine's. He had become so disturbed and started to find her and after searching for her he found her. Then they both continue their journey and finally find that place. Then the scene shifts to the people in the spaceship. They were thinking that they had lost their way and they were going in the wrong direction. Now all of them decide to go in the right direction. None knew anything about this way and what will happen to them now. But still, they move their spaceship in that direction. On the other hand, 
Augustine, who is now able to contact them, tells them about the condition of the earth, but suddenly their connection again gets disturbed, so the girl named Sally decides that she will go out of the spaceship and will fix the signal issue so they could again contact Augustine, but where they were headed was very dangerous, there were rocks everywhere. Sally goes outside with one of her partners and fixes it, but then suddenly a rock hits their connection and breaks it again. Their spaceship was hit by a rock which injured them. This also causes one of their partner's death. But still Sally collects her courage and restores her strength and fixes the connection. Augustine tells them that there was none on Earth and asks them to go to K-23 planet again because humans can live easily there. When Augustine gets to know that they have also forgotten their way, he also guides them the correct way and again asks them to go to the K-23 planet. Sally tells all this to her partners, and two of her group members were even agreeing on going to live on some other planet. They wanted to go to Earth. The main pilot of the spaceship was not accepting this, and still believed that his wife was on Earth. Augustine tells him again and again that there is nothing here on Earth now. All of the people had left Earth and are living on some other planet or some have died here. He still says that even if his wife had died, he still will go to Earth. He takes a separate spaceship and leaves for the Earth. Sally tells Augustine that it was her dream to talk to him, she used to consider him as her idol and even had come to this field just because of him. Sally tells her name Iris Sally to Augustine, when he hears her name he starts to think of his little daughter in the past and then gets to know that Iris Sally was his daughter's name. So he runs to check on the little girl but there was none there, and here it gets revealed that there was no little girl it was just his hallucination. That girl was the reason he used to live. Augustine was always busy trying to make his wife and his daughter go on the K-23 planet so they could be safe forever. But when he started to forget things, he made an imaginary girl so he could live and it was the reason Augustine was still alive. Here it also gets revealed that Sally was none other than his daughter. He didn't want to tell her that he was his daughter because he used to think that she would come to Earth and take him with her. Augustine wanted to talk to his daughter so he asks her how the K-23 planet was and she tells him that it was all safe to live on that planet. He gets very happy after getting to know about the K-23 planet, and he again asks them to go to K-23, so she, including one of her partners, leaves for the planet. She also tells him that all of the people who had been to another planet could come here and live easily. The scene again shifts to Augustine who is fearless and boldly standing under the sky because he knew his life's mission had been successful, and even if he dies this will not have any effect on him. And the movie ends here. Thank you for watching.